one of the things that we've been quite successful with is taking materials, relatively cheap materials like magnesium, and reducing the temperature at which they will operate at. We're very interested in uh, hydrogen technologies. Um, one of the reasons why we're interested in hydrogen is that it has a very high calorific value. So there's a lot of energy contained within hydrogen when you uh, burn it with oxygen, um, which means it, it makes it a, a good fuel. Uh, and also when you burn it, all you're generating then is water, H2O, and that means that there's uh, no bad emissions. So we're looking at a fuel that doesn't actually uh, lead to CO2, carbon dioxide emissions. Um, but having said that, um, one of the problems with trying to use hydrogen is that it is a very low density gas. Uh, and so in trying to store large amounts of hydrogen in, for example, your hydrogen car, then you don't want to have a really huge voluminous tank. So you want to be able to store it more compactly. So uh, our research interest is looking at materials that will store hydrogen more compactly than you can get with either hydrogen in a gas form or even hydrogen in a liquid form. So uh, one of the things that we are looking into is metals that um, store hydrogen. So we've got an example here of uh, an AB5 uh, alloy. And um, Amazingly, that AB5 alloy can actually store more hydrogen per volume than you can have with liquid hydrogen, which most people think is the most dense form of hydrogen. So in this tube, we've got that same AB5 alloy. So you can see I've opened up to the uh, metal hydride. The hydrogen's only gently coming out to uh, the fuel cell. And as you can see, there's uh, electricity being generated immediately. We've got a project actually on campus which is uh, related to our creative energy homes and uh, we're building a smart grid for the four buildings um, where people are actually living there. Um, they're they're uh, using the electricity but they're also getting a lot of generation from PV and heat pumps for example. And with the energy storage then we're looking at the benefits of having battery storage as well as hydrogen storage. The battery storage um, is more efficient for uh, uh, daily cycles but with the hydrogen generation then that has advantages for some longer mid to longer term storage so you might be looking at um, seasonal storage when there is maybe less uh, solar energy around in the winter for example but the other thing that hydrogen can be a benefit for is if your community has some hydrogen vehicles then they can actually look to um, move the excess electricity um, supply during the day into hydrogen and have that hydrogen for the hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and uh, we're looking to utilise a small fleet of hydrogen vehicles on campus. One of the big challenges that we're really looking forward to um, looking at and investigating is actually taking these materials from the, the lab bench where a lot of our research has been into real world applications and um, one excellent example that we have of that is a project that we've got in collaboration with India and uh, we have partners from Harriet Watt and Leeds University that are looking at concentrated PV generation and anaerobic digesters. That's going to be generating the uh, energy uh, for a village in India and we're looking at developing the uh, energy um, grid for that and the energy storage part for that, which is going to be a, a combination again of battery and hydrogen technologies. And th th this is going to be quite uh, a revolutionary change for the village itself because it's, this village isn't grid connected, uh, so it doesn't have any electricity being supplied to the village. So it's going to open up all sorts of opportunities for the villagers. And uh, one of the, the, the great things is that there's going to be a medical centre there that we're going to be providing power for.